Well, good evening, everyone. I hope everyone is having a wonderful Saturday. It's December the 15th, 2018. Today's video is going to be about some solar options for a new or beginning prepper. Uh, some of the things I'm showing you here today are some of my first uh, things that I started off with when I got into prepping. You know, all the talk on the internet about a possible blackout. Uh, you know, we just had that new report that come out that's been controversial about uh, uh, Homeland Security issuing a uh, uh, warning to Americans to start prepping. You know, and they talked about the electrical grid going down. This has been a topic now for the last year um, on a lot of the mainstream media and in the uh, alternative media. So I wanted to go over a few options for a new or beginning prepper to just getting into prepping that's looking for something other than conventional uh, batteries or maybe a generator. You know, generators attract attention uh, with the noise that they make. Uh, even though they're wonderful to have, I have one and uh, whenever the power goes out, I use it all the time. So, But they do attract attention and you want something that's uh, maybe a little quieter. Uh, one thing that, and one resource that we do have uh, that most of us have all the time is the power of the sun. You know, batteries are going to go bad. They're going to go dead. Uh, they're not going to be around long. And if you get in type of situation where you're down, uh, for a while when it comes to the power being out, um, solar is probably your best option. So today I'm going to talk about a few of these options for, uh, for you in case you've never really been into solar, haven't really got into it, but there's several options out there and that there is thousands of different, uh, solar panels and little gadgets that you can get. But these are some of the things that I have used and have worked out great for me and my family. And the last power outage we had, I, I've got a little small solar system that I built here that I'm going to show you that, you know, you can keep under a $1,000. Um, solar is very expensive, but I've got a nice little solar system that I use and it's mobile and it's portable and uh, it's worked out great for me and my family. And if you're just getting into solar, you can build this real cheap and uh, without a lot of... Uh, knowledge when it comes to uh, electrical devices. So first thing I want to talk about, one of the most simplest things that you can get, you can order them on Amazon, all over the internet, is just a little charger like this, a little uh, solar charger. Uh, once this thing is charged, you can get, you can charge maybe a cell phone one time off of it, R relatively cheap. You can get these for between 10 and $20 all day long. Uh, and these things do work. Uh, they won't get you a lot, but if you just need uh, something to back up, you know, maybe charge a cell phone with this th little thing right here, you know, it works great for maybe one charge. It takes about four hours to charge this thing up in the sun. So it's just something, a little cheap thing that you can get, put in a bug out bag or just have it laying around the house. But one of the things that uh, I use all the time, whether I'm backpacking or hiking, or, you know, if the power goes out and I just need to charge uh, maybe a tablet or a phone or, you know, some rechargeable batteries, is this little Goal Zero Nomad 7. This little thing right here uh, works wonderful. It's got two solar panels in it. Uh, back here, it's got everything already, a little mini uh, charge controller built in, DC, USB, all your little hookups are, are right here. Everything's already built into this. This little uh, solar charger right here works uh, real good. Uh, charging cell phones, tablets. Uh, I, I do rechargeable batteries in a lot of my device things, flashlights and different things. And I charge them when the power's out with this little thing here. And hey, it, it works wonders, especially uh, putting it in a bug out bag or a backpack or something. It comes with these little carabiners to hook to your pack. Great little option when it comes to need a way to charge a cell phone or something. Some other little options as far as lighting, you know, uh, I got where I'm getting away from battery, oper a lot of battery operated stuff. Like here's a little camp lantern. This is like a six in one camp lantern. Uh, this is uh, solar. You got a little solar uh, panel on the top. Uh, it's got a couple of different ways you can actually charge other devices. 
Uh, here's a little USB port. You can actually charge your cell phones or whatever with this through this device here. And this thing, I haven't had it out or charged in a while. I put it in the sun for about 10 minutes. It's already got a charge. So don't take long to get one. It's got LED down here too. You can use it like a flashlight. It's also got multiple handles. You can get stuff like this for relatively nothing, you know, between 12 and $20 all day long, depending on what you want to get. But I use a lot of these type solar lights. I'm getting away from batteries uh, because batteries, they go bad, you know, and they're expensive. They don't last as long unless you've got rechargeable batteries. And all of this stuff right here, you can use to recharge those rechargeable batteries. This big panel you see up here, this is by Dokia. This is a hundred watt. This is a thin foldable panel. And this is a hundred watt panel I use with my little small uh, solar system that I have built. But on this particular type panel, you don't have to have it hooked to batteries. It comes with this uh, charge controller here and you can hook this, uh, your cell phones and things straight to this and charge it off of this charge controller. You don't have to have an inverter or anything. You can actually run lights and everything just off of this charge controller. So it's got USB ports here where you can charge directly off the sun. You don't have to run this, charge a battery, and then use the battery to charge. You can actually charge it right here off of this charge controller. And it comes with this 20 foot long uh, cable with the alligator clips connect to your battery. And I'm gonna show you uh, the little system I have built to go along with this. Now I use this all the time, uh, especially if I'm out say working in on a farm uh, and I need to run power tools. I, like I said, I can ch ch charge my little mini solar system up, take it with me, it's portable. And plus this, is very, this system I'm gonna show you is very mobile. You can move it around your home. You, if you need to move it front to backyard, I live in the mountains where there's a lot of trees and I can follow the sun real easy just by rolling this particular system. I've got it in a nice box made by Husky. You can get them at Home Depot for about 70 bucks. Heavy duty box, it's lasted me forever. And uh, the batteries that I use for this system are two six volt, 178 amp hour deep cycle batteries that are wired in series with a 2500 a watt inverter made by Krieger. And it's a really nice little system. I can run uh, power tools off of it. I run, I can charge multiple devices at one time. I can run a TV uh, off of it. At the same time, I could be running lights. I run three lamps, a TV, a, v a DVD player, Blu-ray player, whatever you want to call it, all up, you know, at one time for several hours. And usually, uh, you know, on these particular systems, you only want to run your batteries down to 50%. That's the reason why I have 278 amp, amp hour uh, uh, six volt batteries wired in series to make a 12 volt system. And those particular type batteries wired like that, they give me a true 178 amp hours of power. So I'm gonna show you this little system. You know, you can build it fairly cheap. Like I said, these Dokia, a uh, hundred watt panel that I have here. It's the uh, small mono crystalline panels and they fold and they store, they're thin, they store real easy and they're very light. Here's uh, what you hook your uh, charge controller stuff up to. So let me show you this uh, little solar uh, system that I've got built. All right, this is the solar system that I have built to go along with that Dokia panel I just showed you. This box is made by Husky. It's a portable a uh, little heavy duty box here. Uh, you can get them at Home Depot. So let's open it up and uh, look at what's inside here. Like I said, nice little uh, box. In here, I have uh, on this particular one, I have two different ones. I have a 2500 and a 1500 uh, uh, inverter. Uh, this has happened to be the 1500 watt inverter by Krieger uh, for this particular solar system. I have another uh, box built exactly like this with a 2500 that I use power tools off of. I use this one right here uh, mostly at my home uh, when it comes to running my TV, charging devices, running lights and different things, fans. And uh, 
That's the Krieger 1500-watt uh, inverter. It also comes with a remote control so you can remotely operate it. I've got it mounted in the box and it has a digital screen, USB ports, and uh, it's a very good inverter. I highly recommend that particular inverter. Now, my batteries down here, like I said, are 2, 6 volt, 178 amp hour deep cycle batteries wired in series. So they make a 12 volt system. And I have these in the bottom. Uh, they are held down uh, by uh, industrial strength, heavy duty Velcro so they don't slide around or move in the box. And these batteries right here, uh, I got these at O'Reilly Auto Parts and they've been uh, very good batteries. They're three years old now and they work great and I ain't had a bit of trouble out of them. Now I also store extra uh, stuff in here when it comes to uh, stuff to power everything I need to. I run, uh, I keep extra drop cords or extension cables in here. Uh, I keep uh, the extra uh, battery inverter cables, uh, different size uh, wiring, uh, different gauge wires, terminals uh, for my batteries, uh, different ways here. Uh, to like surge protectors and ways I can hook different things where I can hook up, uh, you know, a lot of my devices and lamps, lights, you name it. So I keep a little extra stuff in here. This comes with the, the box and there there's my batteries. Uh, and also this is wired up and have an inline fuse in here going to the inverter. It's a good thing to have, protect your inverter. But this little, uh, this system here, uh, with the, the panels, the, the box, the batteries, and the inverter, run you about $850, $900 all together. All the little extra stuff right here, you might as well say another 50 bucks. So you can get in under $1,000 uh, as far as having a nice little portable solar uh, system. This box rolls, has a handle here that pulls out and does a really good job like i said these batteries are extremely heavy this thing weighs about 250 pounds and uh this box rolls it around nicely so if you're looking to get into solar and you want to build you a little small solar system you know doing it this way right here work has worked great for me now you may have a better system and if you do please leave comments in the comment sections because it could help me and help someone else this is just what I built uh, for myself and for my family, and it's worked out great for me. And I hope this gives you some good ideas on uh, how to be better prepared and some options on uh, as far as getting power, uh, you know, in a blackout or if you just lose power in a thunderstorm, a snowstorm, whatever. Uh, this, this little option I got right here worked out great for me and my family. But like I said, there's several uh you know different ways of going about doing this you know get on the internet do your research or several youtube videos you can watch that uh, will show you how to build systems like this this is one that i come up you know myself come up with this myself i didn't really have any inspiration from nobody else for another video or anything it's just something i thought of and uh, figured it would work for me and it has so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it gives you some uh, extra options when it comes to uh solar and if you're a beginning or new prepper and you're looking to get into some some solar stuff maybe this will give you some uh, good ideas on how to get started i appreciate you taking the time to watch the video today be safe we'll catch you next time <laughs>